Hello YouTube viewers. Um, I recently did a documentary called Straight with AIDS and uh, it was really to uh, educate the world <clears throat> of what it's like to be straight and living with AIDS. Um, and in that documentary I think I pretty well covered uh, pretty well all the areas that I could have covered. And by the way that documentary is my documentary, my story. So I mean you're gonna hear others who are you know, may disagree, may agree, may disagree, whatever like this. Okay, well, that's their story. I have mine, and mine was told. Anyway, <clears throat> through the, uh, through that, uh, I received a bunch of subscribers, so I want to thank my subscribers, and uh, I also received a lot, a lot of comments, both positive and negative. Um, you have to take the good with the bad, uh, so you know. Uh, but some of the comments that were suggested to me was that I should make some more videos. Well, I really didn't want to because I think I pretty well covered um, <clears throat> pretty well what I was supposed to cover in the uh, documentary. However, I finished that documentary in, I believe, September of 2011. Right now it's March of 2012. Um, and, but in December of 2011, uh, I, saw some, I saw something in the paper and I checked it out with the local... Um, with our local news uh, media here, I checked out on their website, and yeah, it was it was verified um, about this uh, what I, about the information I'm about to reveal to you. Um, we have uh, here in Ontario. I live in, like I said, I live in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Uh, about four hours from here, there's a town called London, uh, and uh, in London we, there's a University of Western Ontario. In that University of Western Ontario, there's a doctor named Dr. Chil Yong Kang. Now, the, the pronunciation may not be correct, so I'm going to spell it out for you so that if you want to do a Google search, you can do it yourself. His name is C-H-I-L hyphen Y-O-N-G hyphen K-A-N-G. Well, the significance of this doctor is that he just received FDA approval for an HIV vaccine, not a cure, but a vaccine. Um, now, in order to get FDA approval, you're going to have really good lab results, like really good positive results from your lab work. Well, obviously he had it, um, and now he's been given the okay to do human trials. Now, as far as I know, it's going to be a three-phase uh, process. Uh, I can't explain it to you because I really don't know what they're doing. Um, however, I know that the, the they've named a uh, this vaccine, uh, SAV001. And so far, this vaccine looks like it's very promising. So uh, if, the, if successful, uh, according to the information I read, uh, we could have a va the vaccine could be out between five to 10 years, as early as five years, but you know, maybe as long as 10 years. Nonetheless, you know what I mean? It gives the world hope, um, and it gives, well, it gives the world hope to eliminate this virus once and for all. Those of us who have it will die off with it, and those of you who don't have it will be vaccinated for it. So, you know, in 100 years, it'll be gone. Great news. Great news, because I don't want, I wouldn't wish anybody to have to go through what I've gone through and what I'm going through, even as we speak, uh, with this disease. I mean, it's terrible. It really ruins people and ruins people's lives. Um, uh, there are uh, some positive uh, results, or there are positive um there are people out there who think more in a positive way and would, would disclaim everything that I said, but that's okay. I mean, that's probably about maybe 5% of those who are HIV positive um, end up, uh, you know, having success and living a happy life. Well, the rest of us don't. So, I mean, I'm speaking on behalf of the rest of us. However, uh, this vaccine looks very promising. It's, um, it's in the works. It's in the process. Uh, the only unfortunate thing is that uh, if successful, um, we don't have a biohazard facility that's capable of uh, of producing this. So we're going to have to send it down the states and get them to do it. But nonetheless, it will still be a Canadian vaccine. You know what I mean? And, um, and it will be available, obviously, for the whole world. Um, the other thing, too, that they're working on is that there have been a lot of other countries and there are a lot of pharmaceutical companies who are working right now on a HIV vaccine. However, uh, it's just been failure. I mean, their success rates have been about maybe 10%. Uh, South Korea a couple of years ago claimed that they had 31% success rate, which is still lousy, 
But, I mean, it's better than the 10%, but they had no evidence to back them up. So, I mean, it's just hearsay. So, I mean, it's it's discredited because of that. Uh, but nonetheless, this guy here got the FDA approval. I mean, he had a lot of evidence to show his lab animals um, were successful with this. And, um, you know, now he's doing the human trial. So, you know, let's keep our fingers crossed and hopefully there's a cure, there's a, not a cure, but a, a vaccine for the whole world. So I thought I would share this information with you because uh, it is very important. Um, it doesn't uh, pertain to my uh, to my documentary, but it's more of a side note, um, you know. And uh, I thought I would share that with you and let all of you know, you know, as to what's going on. You know, that would be nice. You know, we can get a vaccine, and of course, Canada would be the 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 leader of that. Um, not, not that I'm a patriot of my country or anything, but, I mean, I live here, so I'm one of the numbers. You know what I mean? So, nonetheless, uh, you know, I thought I would share that with you. Um, again, the doctor's name is Dr. Chil Young Kang, C-H-I-L hyphen Y-O-N-G hyphen K-A-N-G, uh, University of Western Ontario. And if you're going to do a Google search, I mean, it's HIV vaccine in Canada. Okay. I thought I would share that with you and, uh, you know, hopefully this is successful.